Well, this Arctic air and sub-zero temperatures uh, taking a toll on our homes, our cars, even us. <laughs> yeah, everything out there, including our furry friends. Jonah Kaplan has more on protecting those pets and their paws. Yeah, I know, I know, it's very cold outside, but I'm not going to let you do your business in the house. That's why we here at today's TMJ4 are going to talk to the experts to let you know how to take care of these guys, even in this bitter blast. We don't realize that the cold weather, the ice and the snow, they can't hurt themselves. They can slip and fall. Um, also in the cold weather is, you know, when you go back in the house, you kind of forget about time and all of a sudden you left them out there longer than they should have been. When he's not on patrol, MPD Lieutenant Dennis Trzinski assumes another title, the Dean of Pet University. The best thing is to go outside with them. One thing I try to tell people is, you know, put on a light jacket, go outside and see how long it takes you to get cold. If you get cold, your dog's probably feeling the cold weather also. Dogs bark, this much we know. But Trzinski claims dogs communicate their discomfort in other ways too. They're going to start lifting their feet. They don't want to walk on the ground. They can start shivering or shaking. Another thing is if they've been out even longer than that, they're going to try to find a place to go and lay down, um, a, you know, away from the wind. They're going to try to curl up in a corner or behind something. Pet parents should also clean paws once inside. Trzinski warns ice and salt irritate their skin. Well, when we're outside, we've got our jackets, we've got our boots. So does that mean the dog should also have their jacket and their boots? Well, Trzinski says, Yes, maybe, but dogs have to train and learn how to wear these. Otherwise, if you just stick them on now, the dogs will rip them right off. In Milwaukee, Jonah Kaplan, today's TMJ4. All right, Jonah, thanks. Another good idea. Keep water available for those pets after they come in because dogs dehydrate much quicker in the cold.